afternoon and welcome to the long-awaited, much-anticipated electrolysis explanation. Right, uh, what we'll be doing, basically, is using electrolysis to get, rid of, get rust off stuff. This doesn't work with alloy, it doesn't work with stainless, it doesn't work with anything else except mild steel. That's all you're going to be using is mild steel. Don't put anything else in, just mild steel. Okay. Uh, oh, before I go any further, this one's dedicated to my good friend Miner over on scootershack.co.uk who's been helping me out, um, giving me advice and stuff on, on how to rebuild and strip and whatnot a, uh, a scooter that I'm working on. Uh, big up to Miner and uh, cheers for the help mate. Right, okie dokie. What are you going to need for this? Number one, plastic tub. Um, this has got with some water in. Um, it's got to be, obviously it's got to hold water. It can't be metal. Uh, but it can be plastic or glass, maybe you've got an old fish tank or a bucket or or a uh, washing up bowl or something like that. Uh, in here I've got about four litres of um, normal tap water. It's not warm. Um, a lot of people go on about, oh, you, you need hot water to dissolve the soda crystals and all that. Well, I've been doing it ages, I don't use hot water. So anyway, um, yeah, number two. So you've got your tub and a few litres of water doesn't matter how much water you use, it's got to be enough to cover whatever it is you want to get the rust off. Uh, the rust will only come off whatever's in the water itself. If it's not under water, it ain't going to work. So uh, you can get that down about a litre if you're just doing a small thing. Uh, the other thing to bear in mind is the bigger the thing you're trying to get the rust off, the longer it's going to take. Um, like something like this, uh, which is the swing arm thing from a uh, Piaggio hexagon scooter, the scoot project I was on about. Um, it took, uh, I left that in there for a couple of days. Uh, something smaller, I don't know what we got now, like a, I don't know, just a regular washer or something, that'll probably take about 15 20 minutes. So you get the idea, the right, bigger it is, the longer it leaves. Uh, right, so good to have got the water. Uh, uh, next thing is soda crystals. Just normal soda crystals. You find them in the washing department of like Wilco's. These are from Wilco's, they're like 65, 69 p something like that. Uh, you can get them in Asda's, Tesco, Sainz, but anywhere that sells washing stuff. You know where you, you look for the washing powder for your clothes? Have a good look round. It's a sub to find, but it's there somewhere. Uh, I found this on completely the wrong bloody aisle in Wilco's. It was, it was in with uh, window cleaning stuff. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so you've got a bag of that, dirt cheap, lasts for ages. Uh, next, what's next? Right, okay. So the next thing, most important thing, uh, won't work without this. Oh yes, open the soda crystals with scissors, those bags are crap. <laughs> so snip the top off or it's going to be like boom, bush, everything turns white. Uh, right, so battery charger. Uh, this is just a cheap one. Uh, nothing special about that. Got it off a car boot sale like years and years and years ago uh, for about a fiver, I think. Uh, anyway, any old battery charger will do. Uh, just make sure it's got these on the end. These are your clips. They should have anyway, but if it's an old one, some of them might have cut them off or lost them or whatever. Got to have those. Without those, it's just a pain in the arse, really. Uh, so, okay, we've got that. And the last couple of bits, um, yes, measuring spoon, uh, tablespoon, normal one for your out, from your house. Um, that's to measure your soda crystals with. Piece of um, old scrap metal. This is your, you can only use stay steel, mild steel. You know, normal steel that goes rusty that they make everything out of. Uh, don't use alloy. Don't use stainless. Once again, you know, don't don't. Off, just use mild steel. I'm sure you can find a bit somewhere, even an old nail or something like that. Something that's not coated, uh, not got zinc on it or anything like that. Just a normal piece of regular steel. I uh, don't know if you can see there, this one's really rusty. Uh, so, what I've done, I've just cleaned the end up there and there uh, with a file. Took about 20 seconds. That's just so I can get a good electrical connection. Uh, with that, you want the current to flow through it as well. Um, right, next bit is, yeah, I think I've covered everything now, uh, is this. This is the uh, thing that I want to get the rust off. Um, for this, I, I've, I've chosen uh, I've chosen this because it's absolutely terrible, and hopefully it'll show the results of electrolysis really well. 
you see that it's all covered in this horrible flaky rust but it's really well on it's not going to come off um, now why I, I'm, I'm lazy I can't be bothered to go like sanding and scrubbing and wire brushing and all that sort of thing so uh, and I can't see why anybody would want to nowadays um, when you can just use this and it'll do it all for you uh, but each their own um, that's basically the top off a shock absorber uh, this isn't the right one this isn't at all but for the, for the argument's sake that just goes on the top there like so now one of the MOT requirements is that you uh, if you go to um, MOT.co.uk or something like that it will show you, uh, if you read through the uh, MOT guidelines, um, it says that your shock absorbers can't be excessively rusty. doesn't say anything about pitted, doesn't say anything about, well, it doesn't say anything about anything else, but it, it, they can't be excessively rusty, which this is. So that's a guaranteed MOT fail. Get booted out on my ass for that one. Don't want that, so we're going to get the rust off it. Right, so, okie dokie. That's all the things you're going to need. Told you it was simple. Um, right, so you've got your water, there's about 4 litres in there, obviously it's obviously you need a different amount if you're using less water or whatever. I'm going to put um, one tea, uh, one, no, no, it'd be more than that, uh, one, two, three of those, and give it a bit of a stir. The water's now turning cloudy, you'll see that in a minute when I'm going to come over. Come over. Right, give that a good stir, it's all dissolved. Be a few bits at the bottom, it doesn't matter. Right, now this is the important bit. Very, very important this. You need to take your black clip, the black one, and attach that to the thing that you want to get the rust off. Uh, now once again, I've cleaned the top up a little bit just so it's a good electrical connection, uh, so it'll work really well. Uh, that black one work that you want, black one work that you want. Don't get the wrong way round, otherwise you'll be cursing and swearing when it when the, the process completely ruins the, the thing that you're trying to get the rust off. Right, so put that on there, like so. Make sure that's really well on. Like such, and we're going to drop that in the water. Plop. Now, with that bit, you can get the whole clip uh, uh, and the wire, everything can go in. Uh, but with you with the scrap bit of steel, keep this clip out of the water um, because I don't know if you can see that I've put it in there now, numpty. Uh, but if you can see the top of that, it's all rusty. That's because it's been in there, um, which is a problem. That's uh, that only happens on the red one. The black one doesn't matter. So we clip that onto the scrap. Scrap red one, red one scrap, positive scrap. I don't know where you want to remember it. Don't get those the wrong way around. Don't blame me if you do. You're a tit. So we shove that in the water about an inch away from the other thing. Salted. Oh, I'm struggling to keep out the water now myself. Right, yeah. So that's about an inch or uh, about an inch between it and the other thing. Doesn't really matter. You can have them a foot apart, but it won't work as well. The nearer they are, the better it works. Um, I'll bring the camera over so you can see that. See just how that is set up. Oh, come here, you. <laughs> Right, um, yeah, there you go. Can you see that? I know the water's a bit skanky, uh, a bit cloudy. You got the the thing that's with the clip all under water, and that's the other one. As you can see, the clip's not in the water, but the the metal, uh, the scrap metal is. Uh, that's exactly how we want it. Right.